welcome to Tylogs, where we celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship. And today we are speaking with Harmeet Kohli of Pedal Plus. Welcome, Harmeet. I'll start by asking you, how are you bringing in modern technology in the business model of desi retailers and making them smart dukandars? Uh, thank you, Pusha, for having me with you and uh, sharing my thoughts on what has been my passion uh, for evolving the Indian retail. Uh, my, as I've been a retailer for my life, for most part of my life, for 25 years, I've understood the nitty gritties of the retail, how a retailer works, and what it actually takes to evolve a retailer. Uh, having understood everything, we st I started this idea of Pedal Plus in 2018, where I thought of bringing this entire thing to the Indian retail co community which I had been using. And uh, using my inputs and the technology passion that I had, uh, we germinated the idea of Pedal Plus in 2018. And in 2019, we started the MVP of this product. Now, through this product, we are trying to provide an end-to-end -end solution for a retailer from uh, order uh, procurement to order fulfillment and last mile delivery, which has become an essence of today's retail. And uh, in the same way, we are empowering them with e-commerce, uh, e which uh, which I feel that a few large players have taken away the chunk of Indian retail business and is actually, uh, they are sucking the life out of Indian retailers now. Mm -hmm. So with our technology, we are trying to empower them, enable them and bring those good old days for Indian retail back to them. So that is so what Petit Plus is trying to do here. Okay, so, yes. you know, e-commerce has seen a huge boost, especially post-COVID and during COVID as well. So, uh, are you empowering the local Kirana Walas also go the online way? See, if you look at the scenario in the past uh, 10 years or so, uh, e-commerce has flourished in a great way and, and probably more so after the COVID. What we have seen is people are reluctant to go out to the market and they have that ease of ordering from uh, to the to the merchants that are available online now the limitation over here is that big retailers or big players who have access to good technology only they are visible to e-commerce uh, to the, the online customers i would say mm -hmm. and uh, the only missing link between a local retailer and the uh, link between the customer and a local retailer is the technology part so that is where we come in. We provide that technology, which is connecting a small retailer, a small Kirana Wala with its hyper-local customers. Uh, if I was to give you an example, maybe if you are sitting in uh, uh, Vasant Vihar in Delhi, what probably we would be looking at in your phone is maybe Amazon or Flipkart or Big Basket or these kind of retailers who can actually provide you services of e-commerce. But your local retailer, your next door retailer is missing there. We are providing the same technology, what uh, the big players are using to these small retailers and bridging them, uh, bridging the gap. So we are trying to take that uh, retails into a modern uh, modern type of retail for Indian customers. The Desi retailers. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, tell us about the adaptability. Uh, are you seeing uh, only the Metro and tier one uh, uh, retailers coming in and adapting the new technology or are you also seeing demand from tier two, tier three cities? Uh, amazing, uh, amazingly, Bushra, uh, we have out of our 1100 customers that are using our technology right now, uh, between 70 to 75 percent of our customers are from tier one and tier two and tier three cities. Okay. Oh, uh, the, these people really want to evolve to how retail is being run in metro cities. When they come to Delhi, when they come to other metros, they look at how people are changing the way they trade, how they retail, and then they went go back and want to evolve to those standards. And that is where we actually give them that uh, leverage them that opportunity to grow and evolve like uh, the big counterparts in the metro cities. We have customers in Delhi also. It's not that we're not doing in metros. We have good clients in uh, Delhi. And uh, our focus is right now more in the Delhi region where we are based. Uh, but yes, we are providing services to tier two and tier three cities. And the entire uh, process is online. Uh, there's no need for a customer to either visit our uh, office or maybe take some training from our office 
it is all being done uh, online and it takes hardly uh, not more than six hours to get to implement a system on a customer system and uh, make him understand what it is all about wow that's great okay tell us about your global footprint uh, how big is india a market and what is your global expansion plan like uh, see, we have a few customers from uh, Africa and UAE. Uh, UAE was our, uh, I would say that that was the first customer we had from uh, an inter international market in UAE. There was a bookstore in UAE. And uh, for three years, he's been using the system. In Africa, we have given customized solutions for retailers because trade in Africa is pretty different from what it is in India. Uh, there, have, there, people have a system of uh, purchasing in bulk and then segregating their purchases to save costs. So we have given that uh, kind of uh, system to those retailers in Africa. Uh, currently, there is not much to talk about on the international market. But yes, if I talk about India, there is good scope. There is there is a lot of uh, uh, inquiries that are coming to us uh, where people want to use our technology, want to evolve. And I think India, as it is, is such a big market that if the entire Indian retail starts adopting to the technology, uh, I don't think we would have the time to go uh, pan out out of India. But yes, getting to the international market is our dream. Okay, great. Uh, Harmeet, you have been associated with Tidally NCR for some time. Tell us how this has helped you in your entrepreneurial journey. It is fantastic. I The words can't just describe how I have been feeling with Thai and what I've un understood with Thai and what actually I have uh, got from uh, the very first interaction when I was became a member in 2019 was when I went to your uh, ties Kutub institution office in uh, Delhi. Uh, the, the aura was very, it was fantastic. You got, you had the chance to meet uh, new entrepreneurs. You had to a chance to interact with them, understood the ideas and the kind of mentors and uh, uh, support that was given by Thai and the members to upcoming entrepreneurs was fantastic. That is beyond words. And yes, down the journey with Thai, I've been associated with Thai. I've been attending all the conferences. I've been associated with the Thai summit also, TCS summit. Uh, it was fantastic. You get to you get to meet such people who have already reached the peak, and then they uh, sharing their thoughts, sharing their journey, and in some way they are actually lending them your hand and taking you forward so uh i think what tai is doing is is unmatched unparalleled nobody else can actually help an entrepreneur in this journey with the way tai is doing thank you so much harmeet it was a pleasure speaking with you thank you Busha. thank you same bye